What's up, bro? That's welcome to another Just Boost them episode, bro. Out of heat. We out here. Hunting, stalking, and hunting. We're about to do the start of hunting. Uh, stalking, hunting. It's at uh, 10 30 right now in the morning. Um, so we out here at HPU. We know there's some massive pigs. Big pigs are on here, but it's trying to, trying to get them out to get them. It's, it's been a rough one. We skunk out three times we came here already. Well, today is a solo dolo session by myself. Hopefully, we get brought in there, or maybe Dane. Dane's in Oregon. Actually, just he just landed back from Oregon. Uh, hopefully, he comes out and uh, keep me company. We can pound some pigs, maybe. I uh, will see. But I wanted to come out here and talk a little bit about um, about one of our sponsors, uh, Val Camouflage. I've done. A, I think I've did a, a couple episodes ago. I did uh, a video with using their camels and I also shout them out on the Instagram and stuff like that. <sighs> but Val Camouflage uh, was it's made in Hawaii from my brother from Hawaii. And um, I'm just answering your guys' DMs that you guys were asking me that how you know how do you guys get the camel, where did they get the camel? So I put all the links down below to their Instagram and the website. And for my mainland brothers that who want who is DMing me for for the uh, the, the camel, um, which is brought a Bryce Bryson, and um, you know, unfortunately, brother Bryson passed away about a month ago, and uh, rest in peace, brother. You know, um, we had a lot of good things going on. We sat down, chat, chit chat, you know, um, text messages and stuff like that. We had some we had some good plans going on. Um, we were working on getting the jackets out. We was working on getting um, discount codes for all you guys. Um, but like I said, unfortunately, he passed away about a month ago. Um, I'm not gonna say why. It wasn't with freak one, or he, he never got into a car accident or anything crazy. But um, I said he passed away, and so right now I just want to let you guys all know. Just kind of hold off on on um purchasing the clothes for now because i don't know i don't know who's gonna run the company i don't know if you know aunties uncles cousins brothers or whatever gonna take over the company so i'm not too sure so i don't want to be promoting his stuff it's really good good stuff don't get me wrong like i'll promote the shit out of it you know but right now at this moment in time i don't know if you guys order stuff if the order gonna get fulfilled so if you guys did order within the last month um I'll just keep email contacting them or something. Um, but until, until I find out more, and I'll keep you guys updated and all that good stuff. So, but whoever ordered about maybe like a, two months ago, maybe I was like, like two months ago, you guys would have got your guys' order. Um, but again, I'll just hold off until I update you guys. Um, but still support them, you know. Keep them in your prayers, your hearts, and all that good stuff. Um, then I want to also want to talk about another DM that I've been having. Um, how do I get access again? How do I get access to private lands to hunt? Um, this is your this is your answer right now. Pig Hunter Association. Um, we're in the bull division uh, part of the club which is run by Roy Kainoa. Good brother from Monalo, he's the president. He took over the comp uh, took over the club and it's heading in the it's heading in the most craziest ways. It's really good the way his vision that he sees where the club is, you know. And I wouldn't promote this. I want to tell you guys to join this if it was trash, right? But if you're into bow hunting and and you want to get onto some private lands, but that's not just that's a bonus, right? Getting onto private land is a bonus. Hunting is a bonus. But you gotta you gotta be where your heart is. You know, make sure, you know, we're doing this for the right reasons. You know, families are scared, they got kids, they got pets, pigs are too close to comfort around their house their home. Um, native species, native plants, all of that to preserve. That's why our team does it, you know, the the bull team do. And that's what I do. You know trapping wild wildlife in general is to you know to preserve our our native species and plants and all that good stuff um so if you guys are interested in joining 
you know, hit me up in the DMs. Or I'll put a link down below to the website and I, and to their Instagram. You know, go check them out, bro. Go check them out. But join for the right reason. And um, so they're, I think they're only they're only they're only bringing in bow hunters and eradicators, which is trappers. Um, so and it's all it's all free, right? We do it from the hot. We do it all from the hot. So we don't get paid to do this. We do it all for free. So for all your homeowners out there, right, that are watching this, and you like the pig associate come out there, be nice to the brothers, okay? Because they're not getting paid for it. They're doing it for free, you know? So be nice to them. If not, you guys are gonna have a big problem at your house and no one's gonna take care of it. You're gonna have to pay money to take it out. But this way, it's free it's from the hot. Um, so like I said, yeah, if you guys all want to join the Pig Hunter Association, check out the links down below and all that good stuff. Um, that's all I wanted to rant about, a little bit about um, what's happening. Now we're going to get ready for stock and hunt right now. So we're taking years along. We're going to put some bait out. Um, we're going to put some bait out, maybe do some pig calls with the speaker and stuff like that. I know guys going to say, bro, that thing don't work. No, it works, bro. It's, it work, well, for me, it does. For me, it does. And so, we have a nice killer spot here in HPU. Um, the only way, like I said, you can have access to this place is uh, you join the, the Pig Hunter Association. It's the only way, bro. And um, like I said, we all there. So, I'm going to take you guys with me. And we'll see what we can get ourselves into. But uh, until then, brothers, enjoy. Aloha. <sighs> all right, before we get all geared up and get ready for the sit, we're gonna take this this bait that I have. We call them the stinky VD bait, bro. Secret bait. If you guys don't know what I use, go watch the other episodes. I talk about it and I show you guys what I use. But here we go. It's a little. Whoa. It's a little um it's a little slippery today. A lot of mud going on. A lot of rootings, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot of rootings. Oh my God. This is why it's so hard to film, bro. Film and do these things is crazy. Oh, oh, big roots, big rooting, fresh. Ooh. Holy smokes, bro. The last time I've been here, there wasn't, there wasn't that much rooting. There's fucking a lot. Fuck all up on the top. Well, maybe we get action today, bro. Maybe. And me, I never bring my knife on me. I guess if this pig's gonna attack, pigs are gonna attack. We're going. We're gonna wrestle. We're gonna wrestle a little bit. Okay. Some stinky stuff, cousin. Ooh. Fuck, I like make me draw up a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so. There's a lot of freaky sounds. Like you can hear the birds chirping and all that good stuff. Whoa, the camera almost went down. But we got some stinky bait down. Some stinky. Stinky, icky, VD bait, bro. So we got that down. We're gonna head up, we're gonna gear up, lock our arrow, and we're just gonna chill, bro. We're gonna hang out, chill, and uh, hopefully we can get this place to come out. If not, we'll bring out the speaker. I know. Uh, we're gonna play some piggy calls. But until then, cousin, wish me luck. 
What's up guys, welcome back bro. So it's been around about two hours so far. We've been sitting for about two hours. It's been a little quiet. Um, had a pretty nice big downpour. And hopefully now it's a lot cooler. And hopefully these pink starts coming out because there's a lot of good bait down there. And now we just gotta sit and wait. Brother Dane literally just got off the plane went home got ready and he's on his way out here so at least I, at least I get company um, so we're just chilling hanging out and waiting for uh, piggies to come out so other than that it's been super quiet but here I'll show you guys where we're trying to shoot at Yeah, but like right there is where the shooting lane is. So, well, hopefully, uh, we get some pickies coming out. What's up, you fucking clowns? So, we've been there for a while. It's about five o'clock now. It's five now, so it's about go time. Uh, we're getting some some cracklings here and there but nothing really crazy nothing really crazy happening but we, we got the speaker down there and it's playing the feeding frenzies earlier we was playing the distress pigs and this forest was just going crazy a lot of the birds are chirping and well, i don't know it was just crazy so we're about to just uh we're just sitting here and just we gotta wait now but Dane, Dane came earlier. You see Dane? See, I knew, I knew Dane was the kind. Dane was crazy. So I was told Dane, why are you waving? From Hawaii, the shaka. But don't worry, we teaching them. To be on Kanaka Maoli, or to be Kanaka Japanese. No, but yeah. So we just we just kind of chilling for now. We heard a bunch of noise on the bottom. They might be coming up for uh, for feed, but we got some stinky, uh, stinky, sticky, feedy bait on the bottom. See you guys later. If not, I don't know. Chill, chill, chill. What's up, boys? Welcome back, bro. <sighs> we was here since um, I was here since 10:30, and then uh, we kind of sat the whole day. Dane showed up. He just came back from Oregon. Mm -hmm. How was Oregon? It was good. Yeah. Uh, the temperature was a lot nicer than. Hawaii's. I bet, I bet. So, and then you guys left when? Thursday? Uh, I think so. Thursday or Wednesday they left. They came back Sunday. Oh, they came back today. So, when I got in here, Dane just got off the plane, went home, he would unpack, load up, and he came back over here and sit, sit with me and hang out with me. And um, we never really have anything. There was basically only had noise, sound like there was around, and then there wasn't around. So for me, this is my last time here at HPU. Um, I don't know, these guys might come back. Again, we're part of the, the Pig Hunters Association of Oahu. And um, Dane's part of it, but he doesn't have a shirt yet, but we need to get his shirt. A bunch of our boys is uh, part of the association. Um, so, I don't know, I, we skunked out here. This is my third time here. And um, the first time we was here, we seen pigs. Second time we was here, we seen pigs. Today, the third time we've been here, I never seen no pigs. Um, or oh, I just don't know. Don't want to put a camera up up here, only because we can only come on the weekends to check it out and uh, for hunt, you know. But hey, you can't catch them all. We can't catch all of them. But we kind of skunked out today. No pigs. Uh, we actually have another spot in Pololo. And um, when was this? Last week, Tuesday. We hit um, 
we, I think we hit two. Two or three, one of those things, yeah. So, but I never bring my camera, I didn't even have my camera with me, so that's up. But, so, we got some actions here and there. So, other than that, um, what do you think, Dane? Anything else you want to say? I uh, know. Well, until the next episode, my brothers, make sure you guys follow. Uh, subscribe, hit the you know the like and all that good stuff. Follow me at top Instagram, um, just underscore boost them. I also have my company called UKNK Wildlife Control. Um, also, yes, you can go ahead and follow them. There's also a website, so if you want to get rid of those nuisance animals, bro, hit me up, give me a job, bro. I'm tired of eating a couple noodles. <laughs> anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of you guys' evening, and until we see, until we meet again, my friends. Aloha, give me a shock, day. All right.